Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about transcription. So we have my typical sketch notes set up here. You will also find a uh, Google Slides file on Google Classroom. That can also uh, explain this as well, but I'll go through the transcription here. So you have the basic idea of the process of transcription. So let's just go over why transcription is important. Uh, and it starts with the DNA. So DNA is super important but it always stays in the nucleus. So we're up here in the nucleus, that's where the DNA stays. It cannot get out. Uh, the DNA contains all the information to make proteins. Uh, the problem is the protein is made in the ribosomes, which are sitting out here in the cytoplasm or along the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So somehow we gotta get the message from the nucleus, out of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm, to the ribosomes. Uh, so how can we do that when DNA cannot leave the nucleus? Well, the answer is you need some sort of way to get the message out, and that's through RNA. And RNA is made through the process of transcription. So basically transcription is the process of making an RNA molecule from a DNA template. And as a basic idea, what goes on are the differences between DNA and RNA. DNA is double-stranded, RNA is single-stranded. This double-strandedness makes DNA a very long-lasting molecule. We have found DNA molecules from millions of years ago. RNA breaks down. We don't have any of that. Uh, bases, they're pretty much the same, except DNA is going to have thymine, and RNA is going to have uracil. Whoever you see a A in DNA, we're going to put a U there, not a T, there, because there's no Ts in RNA. Sugars are different, deoxyribose in DNA ribose in RNA, so R ribose. Um, RNA can function as an enzyme, so we'll talk more about that when we get into making protein, but uh, that's where it will function as an enzyme. And its job is basically of RNA to uh, take the protein information out of the nucleus and control how it's used. Uh, DNA is just kind of the file for the protein. It stays in the filing cabinet and then that what recipe you need comes out and that's the RNA. All right, so looking here at how this starts, uh, we have our DNA molecule. So we got the gene side here and we got the complementary strand here. So we talked about making DNA last week. And now we're going to make the RNA from it. So we're really only utilizing this part of the uh, DNA molecule. So it's going to start with a region in front of the gene called the promoter region. So this is a section of the chromosome that basically calls, tells the A hey, RNA polymerase, you want to set up shop here so that you can find the gene and start transcribing. All right, so that's what actually happens. There's only one enzyme you got to deal with with RNA, and that's RNA polymerase. So this is the enzyme that makes RNA. So it's going to attach here at the uh, promoter region, and then it's going to start reading the bases. So RNA is going to simultaneously unzip and start copying the DNA into RNA. And it's going to also move 5' prime to 3'. Prime which means the RNA is going to be made 3' prime and 5'. Prime. So wherever there's going to be an A, the RNA is going to put a U. Wherever there's a T, you're going to put in an A. Wherever you're going to have a C, you're going to put into a G. And wherever there's a G, you're going to put into a C. Uh, so tomorrow you're going to have a little assignment in which you're going to have to actually transcribe a DNA molecule. So remember this uh, code here so that you can uh, get that correct. Um, so finally, uh, the RNA polymerase is just going to keep going along, going along and making uh, this RNA transcript. Eventually, it's going to come to a region that says stop, and the RNA is going to make a copy of the gene, uh, which is another way of saying messenger RNA or mRNA. This can now be, uh, it needs to be modified first. It'll be modified, a few things will be done to it, and then it can leave the nucleus and find a ribosome, and uh, protein can then be made at that point on. Uh, 
We focus here mostly on messenger RNA. That's what most geneticists tend to care about. However, all RNAs are made with the same process, whether we're talking about transfer RNA or ribosomal RNA or the other version of RNA. So we'll talk more about that later, but uh, this is basically the uh, way RNA is made. So uh, that's basically all you have to know. So quick and easy transcription.